Hello, hello. I'm Lucas. I'm Greg. And we're checking out the Oculus Rift official unboxing. All right. So what we got here is a pretty compact package, but it looks way nicer than anything I've seen coming from Oculus on the Rift side before. Because up until this point, it's all been development kits, not a consumer version, and they've all not been very pretty. They're, not, they're, they're pretty for what they were, what they were meant for, but they were like cardboard and kind of wonky and not really durable, and this is actually really nice. It, has, it even has a nice little like nylon rope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks, like, it looks like what they shipped the iMac in. Yeah, uh, it actually you know. does. It looks yeah. kind of Apple-y. All right. We'll shift it open. La, 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 la. <laughs> Get rid of this trash. Okay. I don't know what This we're doing. thing is attracting so many <laughs> fingerprints. Yeah, so don't, don't actually touch the box. <laughs> don't do what I'm doing. Out, okay. Because and it looks like you okay. do this. Yes. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, look okay. At that. All right. Uh, so, first impressions you pretty much get everything you thought you would. Uh, this remote, which I don't really know what it does, but and then the giant sensor with the like two and a half meter cable, and then the headset itself, which just pops right out. This looks like it came disconnected. The it's beautiful. Face mount. So this replaces that little camera that you would have seen in previous versions of the Rift, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that ugly little camera is now this cool stick thing. Yeah. So with its own little base for the, the cable, that's nice. Yeah, so this, this basically just kind of checks where the headset is oriented and you know when the touch controllers come out next half, it'll tell where your hands are. Uh, what else is in here? Okay, so this little guy. Somehow uh, already has fingerprints on it. Yes. I don't know how that happened, but. <laughs> All right, so this is the Oculus remote. Um, okay. I don't actually know what it does. Did this come with the it, dev kits? It did not. Okay. Uh, it looks like a little iPod shuffle. Might be. <laughs> we'll, we'll roll with it. I'm sure there's something. <laughs> we'll figure out what it is. I think it's just a uh, probably a hand controller for navigating through Steam, or pay, maybe like super basic. Or like reorient yourself or something. Perhaps. Yeah. Okay. Now the meat of it, what you're actually paying all this money for, even though you need all that shit too, uh, is this excellent headset, uh, which is actually, I mean, this like, I don't know. Give your thoughts on what this looks like compared to the DT DK1, DK2. I mean, it's uh, 40 billion times better. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but in really subtle ways. Like it's not like, oh my god, it looks like a totally different thing. But it's it's like it has a very nice matte plastic look, and the, the edges are, are nice and curved in and tapered rather than super rough and blocky look. I mean, the, the, the dev kits really did look like prototypes before. Sure. Uh, and it has kind of a weird nylon-y material to it? Yeah, that? I think, that, I think that's a, something to make it a little bit easier to just like wash down with okay. like, you know, a rag nice. or something as opposed to, I don't know. Do you know if, the, if these, uh, these, this bit here is more easily swappable? Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. So on the dev kits, at least, these got really gross really fast, especially if you're like, hey, man, check out my VR headset. Yeah. It's like all your face stuff, <laughs> your face, face goo. I don't know if anybody else has face goo, but. <laughs> All of Greg's face goo is already on this, so we're going to need a clean one for him. Uh, so it looks like you can buy uh, multiples. You can, I can have one, you can have one, which we probably should because my face goo. Uh, <laughs> then you can see the actual lenses in there. Uh, they've also gotten rid of all, so the DK uh, one and two had like knobs mm -hmm. and stuff for yeah. like, adjusting the, the distance between, between your yeah. eyes. Um, looks like they've hidden that away. Yes, it's right here on the bottom. So it's just, oh, it's, just it's just so a pretty, much. yeah, it's, it's pretty it small. Yeah, super minimal. Okay, cool. That is, uh, you, see, you, need, you used to have to use the, like a little quarter, or it was. For this is for your inner pupillary distance. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, if you're, if you're used to using like the Gear VR or, I don't know, Google Cardboard, which is completely far away from this, uh, you might not be used to the fact that you have this like giant four meter cable that's just following you around wherever you go. Um, so I think that, you know, you know, four meters should be fine, I'd imagine. Yeah, especially with the Oculus, because Oculus is, un unlike the, the Vive, which is kind of encouraging you to stand up and move a little bit, yeah. Oculus is like, dude, just sit down. Just just sit, probably don't move too much yet, and it will track positional stuff through this guy, uh, but it's it, they're at least not nearly as much as the Vive encouraging you to stand up and move around. So four meters is enough, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, and, and another thing over the other headsets is this has integrated audio, so this has these little like clip down I don't know, look like the Sony Walkman style, like which on Oculus here. has thus far promised that those are actually going to be very good. Yeah, I mean, you would assume looking at them, yeah. they, they look like the junk headphones that you get with your Sony Walkman back in 1994, and sure. go, oh, these suck. 
but uh, maybe maybe I hope that I, I hope they're I, very I've good. tried them out and, and they are they are pretty pretty good in the, the integrated 3D audio sounds great and you can also Excellent. take them off if you have certain headphones that you love I don't think there's a place to plug in your headphones you have to plug it directly into the computer so oh, that's kind of back. A pain. so that kind of sucks uh, you want to put it on okay oh yep this is giant there are people with larger heads than me <laughs> Okay, so yeah, these kind of just clip down, which is nice so that, you know, you can hear all the friends you're talking to while you have this on. Be like, what'd you say? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> all my stuff is stolen already. <laughs> okay, so I mean, the, the great thing about this over previous versions too is that they've really just nailed weight distribution a lot more on it, so it doesn't feel like you're just like hanging forward when you, when you have it on your face. Um, so this, this on how's, the back. How's the gap at the bottom? So can I, can I grab it? Yeah. So there is still a, a very slight gap Okay. Light gap that I can see, if I, but only when I'm looking directly down. Yeah. Okay. So. I remember when I was doing a demo, I got a text on my Apple Watch, and I was able I to too. like look through it and like see. <laughs> it's actually kind of beneficial, especially if you're using a keyboard and mouse, mm -hmm. uh, because sometimes it's it's even if you've been to the same desk forever, and if you're like, oh, oh yeah, I don't even ever need to look at my keyboard to type. Yeah. Cool. But when you have a VR headset headset on and you're turning around, you're looking in different directions you lose that sense of where your keyboard and mouse are. So yeah. it, it kind of is a bummer to have to lift the headset up every yeah. time that you need to find the keyboard and mouse. So to have that, just a little bit of gap is good, especially if you can just darken the room. Mm -hmm. If your room's super bright, it might get annoying to have that little gap, but yeah. if the room's kind of dark, it's good. Yeah, I kind of like the approach that uh, PSVR has taken where it's actually just like a visor that you can kind of just like flip up. Yeah. But I mean, this yeah. different different styles. Yeah. Okay, so other stuff we have in here. Uh, we have the Xbox One controller, which it comes with. Now, Oculus has shown off these really cool Oculus Touch controllers, but they've been delayed, and now they're not coming out till the second half of the year, so this is kind of what they've been focusing on. Standard Xbox controller, nothing crazy. Uh, comes with a battery, two batteries, which is nice. <laughs> not one, <laughs> but one. two. <laughs> one battery, like, eh. you, can, you can bring your own, one you can bring one battery. More Xbox controller swag. Nice. Actually, I haven't seen one of those ones. Um, and then a USB extender. Um, all manner. <laughs> <laughs> Making a mess. Weirdly, most of the papers in here are about the Xbox One controller. There's, there's this. Oh. This is the Oculus guide. Okay. <laughs> a small tome that has the entire King James Version Bible printed. It on does. It looks like in every language. <laughs> uh, really, this is 75 pages to say this is an Oculus and it should have come with a camera and an Xbox controller. And then it, it says it in other languages <laughs> over and over again. So. Uh, as you would expect for, from a high-tech product, yep. it looks like most of the instruction stuff is going to be online, so don't expect to use this too much. This? I assume that's to perhaps adjust the IPD. Okay. It looks like it's part of that. So you might still need a tool uh, for that. All right. Well, thanks for taking a look at the Oculus Rift CB1 with us. This thing looks awesome. I can't wait to play it.